All right, seven o'clock. Supposed to rain on us today, but uh, I looked at the address of where we're picking up these trucks. It's an Arrow Truck Sales, and it looks like there might be a dock in the back. Uh, looking at Google uh, Google Maps, so fingers crossed. All we have to do is show up and take the fairings off and the uh, exhaust pipe if, if it has them and uh, use the dock to load these things up. We won't even have to mess with the ramps today. I'm sure we'll have to mess with the ramps when we unload them, but we'll deal with that. Uh, we'll deal with that when we get there. Let me get these dogs out, walk them. We're gonna uh, hit the road. All right, here you go. Fairly new truck stop. Really nice and clean in there. Awesome that they let us park here. And you got drivers backing up, just throwing their trash out of the back. Probably rejections that the, the receiver wouldn't take. Truck driver was too lazy to walk it over to a dumpster. So he just backs up here, opens his door, and just let her rip. Come on, let's go see what we got, girls. Absolutely ridiculous, man. Coffee creamer. Oh, sugar. Canisters of sugar. Sugar canisters. Ugh. Disgusting. We just made it to Aero Truck Sales. We're supposed to be picking up two Volvo day cabs that we have to remove the fairings from and the exhaust. And there's a lot more to this than what I thought. There's a lot more to that than what I thought. I mean, those are, uh, those are Allen or uh, star bits. I don't know if I have a star bit. There's a lot more to this. There's a lot more to this than I thought. Those are star bits. We don't even have star bits, bro. Actually, we might in that little red case, but I don't know if I'll be able to run my impact with it. All our shit's gonna get wet. Yeah, everything's about to be a disaster. Well, let's uh, let's go up and see which one our lucky trucks are. 
I thought I seen on Google Maps that they had a, a loading dock back there where that building is. Doesn't seem to be the case. I actually looked at uh, some trucks, because some aero truck sales, not in person, but online. And uh, just couldn't find anything I thought was worth the price that they were asking. I don't know what some of these are worth anymore. I'm sure I could have got a better deal on my truck had I waited a little bit longer, but then that would mean we weren't driving all this time that we've been driving. We gotta talk to some guy in this building here. There's a good looking Mac, huh? All right. So it seems this company's already had about eight of these picked up. The guy in there has no idea which ones we're getting. He said all the keys are in the trucks because all the batteries are dead. So he said find out which ones we need and then he'll come jump them off. So Lita's got to find the, or contact the broker because they only gave us a release form for one truck. So he's got to shoot us another release form for the next truck so we know which one we're taking. Then we have to take all these fairings off and the exhaust tip. This is like uh, some John Deere tractors all over again. Uh, the number should be here somewhere. All right, let me see if I can find this. Look at this, someone's gone through here and took off a bunch of these uh, lug nuts on all these rims. Look, that, has, that thing has two lug nuts on it. Look, that one's got two lug nuts on there. Two lug nuts on there. All right, so our first one is the closest one to the truck. So this is number one. I'll try my jump pack and see if it jumps this thing off and then we'll try his if mine doesn't work. Actually, let's see what happens first. We'll see if we can test this. Uh... Oh, it's, it's dead dead. Dead, dead, dead. I wonder what that box over there is. All right, let me go get my jump pack. All right, looks like we've only got three bars on this thing. Oh, all the lights came on, I think. Yeah, look at there. And they went off. I don't know how long this boost button lasts for. Boost. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. I think they are too dead. Yep, not gonna work. I'm just gonna let him bring his out. We're gonna try to take these fairings off. Good to know. A dead, dead battery. It just isn't a, just isn't gonna work with this thing. All right, while Lita looks for the other truck, I keep, uh, I keep this bit on. This is the bit that's used for the boards on the trailer. Just in case we break a board on the, on the trailer, on the road or something, I need to emergency fix it. That's the bit. Just came over here and checked these because this is what it takes. I'm breathing hard like a fat guy because I've been climbing all over this thing. And uh, look at there. Fits it like a glove. So, hopefully this won't be too bad. Knock on wood, she's looking for the other truck. Someone left the window down in that one, so that's probably ours. We'll get this fairing taken off, and then we have to take this exhaust clamp off here, and then uh, get them loaded up. Pretty good tires on this thing. I don't know if these are retreads or, let's take a look here. Retreads. 
Yeah. All right, let's get to work. So we got the exhaust off and we got the fairing bolts off, but we can't lift this fairing up. There's no way to just like lift it up and, and like throw it somewhere because those metal things are going to hit something. It's going to catch on something and it's going to break something and it's really heavy. So. We can't just like lift it up off the truck. This is the this is gonna be the last time we mess around with taking fairings off. I'll tell you that much. I'm not doing this again. It's not worth it. We didn't get paid enough to to try and die getting this thing off. Because it's raining, everything's wet. I, I don't know. I don't know what they expect you to do. Like you just come here and take the fairings off. Like who had, like we have tools with us, but how do you lift it off? But they don't care. They just bought the truck. They just want the truck there. The worker just wants to get paid. We're the only ones that have to deal with the actual problems of getting it there, so. Alright, he said that the, the trucks before, they piggybacked. So they stuck one right on top of the other so they didn't take the bearings off. So he said we can pull over there and use that, that thing over there. Okay. And lift them off that way. Oh. I also thought about pulling it up next to our trailer. And then we would be right there and then we could just hand it off. But that thing is, that thing's a lot heavier than the truck. Do you think that's gonna drive over there with the fairing off? I might have to throw a bolt and put that in. Don't let me forget this exhaust pipe here. I'm just gonna put it over with the other stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'll throw a bolt or two back in. Let's throw my bolt in. Well, I stuck the drill in. I, I don't know. There's not much room in there to put that socket set in. What a fantastic day to be pulling fairings up. Fantastic. Love it. Give me more. This load doesn't even pay that great. What is it, like 273 a mile? Uh, I don't know. Kansas sucks, man. I don't know why we came back. Well, I mean, I know why we came over here. We got a really good rate coming over. But it's like, I'll always use that extra bit to help get out. And I never want to do it, man. I just can't. I can't bring myself to use the, the load before to support the next load, like I always say. Like, I don't know. He's going to come jump this thing. So it's this one and which one? The one all the way at the end. Oh, so we got two ends. I got some of these. Yeah, that's what I need. I need uh, some of these. Does that drop one? Right here. Thank you.
All right, so I've got this off now, but the uh, truck timed out and shut itself off and the batteries are too dead to restart it. Little jump pack still isn't good enough to get it started. So he's got to bring that jump pack out here one more time. Well, actually probably two more times because that other truck, he, he jumped that other truck off that we're grabbing and it's, uh, I wonder if I high idled this thing, if I could high idle this thing so it would stay running. I get it, companies do that because they don't want drivers wasting fuel. But I didn't even think, usually they like beep and give you a warning that they're gonna go off. And maybe it was, I maybe I didn't hear it because I was out here messing with this. All right, you guys still with us? All right, now we get to throw the ramps while hitting the throttle on that thing every couple minutes and uh, take the fairing off of the next one. All right, truck number one loaded up. We pulled it on, and then I was like, man, there ain't enough room to put that other one on if we don't pull this all the way up to the top deck. So we had to turn it around so we'd stay under height. I don't know how we did it with the FedEx trucks. I think we always had a short axle, and we parked one of the trucks on the ramps. I don't know, it's been a while, I can't remember. So now we get to go work on this next one. And it's, it's raining pretty good, so this is a bummer. All right, now we're two down. So we're asking the broker if he wants these. If he wants these, what we're gonna do is we gotta pull this one straight on. We'll, uh, we'll back the trailer underneath here and set these on top of the back of these. Hmm, yeah. We'll set these on the back of these after we get it on the trailer. I would do it now, but I think the tires might hit them. 
Yeah, I think, I think we'll have to wait. All right, let me get this thing loaded up. The, uh, the buttons to lock these axles on both of these trucks are broken in the, on the dash. So you gotta fiddle fart with them to get them to lock the axles. What a pain in the butt. All right, so we got both trucks on here. They do want the fairings. So we gotta chain these bad boys down. Man, they're always junk. I think the only one that hasn't been junk is that yellow one that we loaded up. But all these other ones, all these other ones have just been junk, man. And you always ask them, and they're always like, oh, no, no, they're in, they're in great shape. They're, they're in great, they're great shape. All right. It just won't let up. It just won't let up. I think we would be better off if it just went ahead and snowed. Because it's, uh, it's this freezing cold rain. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Oh, it's so disgusting out here. All right. Pretty much got them chained down. Now we just gotta back under there and start loading those things up. They do want them. I don't know, they're like, you can just cut them off and throw them off. But it's like, okay, we got them off. Do you guys want them? Yeah, we still want them. It's like, well, what happened to us cutting them off and just throwing them off the roof? Because that's what they told us to do. Oh, all right.
Yeah. Um, that's a stupid bracket, man. I might have to bring that back behind the floor. All right, finally, finally we're done. Just gotta bungee up these chains and we are out of here. What a mess. Oh, my uh, camera's about to die again. Let me uh, put you guys in on the charger. We gotta finish this up. All right, just got them trucks loaded up. Everything is wet. Lita's trying to find somebody to sign those uh, BOLs for us. We've got uh, nine hours and 15 minutes to get to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, those pooper trucks that we hauled, uh, he has those available. We can go pick those up Sunday and drop them Monday. But today is... Today's Thursday, so we would have to sit Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, we'd have to sit, sit Friday, Saturday, and then load them up on load them up on Sunday. Um, the only issue is, I think it's kind of a dead area. I got really lucky with those loads. Uh, those paid like four fifty a mile, I think. Going down into a good area. Is it worth 450 a mile to go back up to a to a bad area? Uh, let me see where we even picked those up at. Those were picked up. Um, we knew if we could get these loaded maybe I should just take them I mean we made good money coming down we will make good money going up with them I don't think it's really like a broker that it's not really a broker that like oh call me when you're in the area I don't I don't remember if he speaks English or not we've done so many for brokers that barely speak English I think they got a W900 thing here. I think that's a W900 right there. I'm not sure though. Lots of T680s, Freightliners, Internationals, Volvos. I don't know if these are trucks they bought or got trade, took in on trade-in and are gonna pick up. Oh, here comes Lita.
junk. Yeah, this is probably a load that we should have probably passed on. Those fairings were way more work than I anticipated. Had it not been for this crane, there's no way we could have done this. We couldn't have picked those things up and set them up there. Here we again. Yeah, we won't be removing these fairings unless they pay big money. They're gonna have to have them removed. Yeah, I think this was uh, like 270. But Kansas is really, really bad. That's why we're like, maybe we should take this. Is that a W900 right there, baby? Mm -hmm. Is that a, a W900 right there? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. It's a good looking truck. It's either a W900 or a T600, I think. They look the same. I don't see the fucking, I don't see the numbers on it. It says arrow cab. That's all it says on the side. Weird. All right, nine hours and fifteen minutes to get there. Probably just go back out this gate we came in, huh? You're not gonna make noise now. Too dark. It's too dark. It's too dark. All right, guys. We have made it to uh, West Terre Haute. Hoot. Terre Haute. What's, what's what state are we in? Indiana. Uh, I don't know. Man, I'm so terrible. Um. We basically hit a point where we had to stop for 30 minutes to get more hours back, or we're just gonna stop and wish that APU would stop squeaking. I don't know if I told you guys, I didn't replace the belt, I put some belt dressing on it. Boom, fixed it right away. But now I think we've just been driving through so much rain today, It's it's been crazy. Oh, we're still in Missouri. We're just, um, Jackson County, Missouri is what it says we're in. Does that look right? Jackson County? Do do that it? can't be right. We're further out of Kansas City than that, right? I don't know, dude. I'm even more dogs. Why are aren't you paying attention to me? Pay attention to me. No, we're just east of um, Indianapolis. Or we're west. We're just west of Indianapolis. So, we're at a way station. We were afraid we couldn't find parking. I think you, we're just gonna go ahead and shut it down here. You can't eat your harness. Internet speed's good. Maybe get a video edited. Maybe not. Maybe play some games. Maybe not. So, all right, well, this is our outro. Thanks for watching. Woman? Oh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Um, I'm going to, when I leave here, I'm not going to pass over the scale. 
you don't get to scale me because I slept here. So I'm gonna go to the left, even if the arrow shows to go on the scale. <laughs>